Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Eric with One Number, and in today's short tutorial, I wanna cover how you can use a custom color in Tableau. Uh, so uh, this is a, just a concept workbook I put together for a colleague. Uh, I'm a Seattle native, big Seattle sports fan. Our new thing is the National Hockey League team, Seattle Kraken. Um, so I pulled some data of theirs from Pro Hockey Reference, and then um, I've got this little workbook showing who has the most points, goals, and assists. Um, you can see I just used Tableau's default blue color scheme, but I've got the little Kraken logo up here. And let's say I wanna use that blue as sort of the, uh, the, the custom blue that the values would range up to. So what I'm gonna do here, since I've already got that image pulled in, um, let me just pull in my color legend for this top sheet. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to edit the colors and instead of using this default blue here at the end, I'm gonna select this and I'm gonna to choose to pick a screen color. Now you can pick a screen color from within Tableau or it can be outside of Tableau. It could be a Word document or it could be an image or somewhere online, um, just as long as you can hover over and pick that color. So you can see I can hover over this Kraken logo and there's a few different blues in there. I'll just pick this one. And here's another thing I like to do. I like to grab that color and then drag it to this little square here to sort of temporarily save it for reuse. You could also just jot down the HTML code or the RGB values if you want to reuse it later. But now if I hit OK, the uh, top you know, worksheet there has now changed that color. And then not only that, but what I can do is I can go to these other worksheets and do the same thing. So I could do like edit colors, Instead of defaulting to the Tableau blue, now I can just pick that kind of turquoise style color. One more time. So yeah, that's the approach I will use to picking a custom color. Um, there are some more involved ways of creating full custom color legends that you could reuse over and over again. So uh, I'll link to a little bit more details for a blog post for how to do that below. Um, and I think one final thing I would say is, you know, I just did this kind of in a more uh, using measures, but if you want to do this with dimensions, you could too. So if I put like position on color and I wanted to color these different positions, different colors, what you would do in changing dimensional colors is double click on the one you want to change. And that takes you into the same uh, custom color picker. So I uh, hope these tips helped you and I look forward to catching you here on another tutorial in the next week.